Hi everybody, this is Christy. I am the Intimate Warrior. I thank you so much for stopping by, and as always, I send you love. This is going to be another brief video, and it might be even um, more brief than yesterday's video. I don't know. So let's just get started. I'm really excited about this, um, and have been for some time, and I've been meaning to get this video out to you, but there's just so much great information that I've been trying to get out to you or, or you know filling you in on my experiences of course and um, there's just so much that is so much more significant other than energetic updates although all of these things tie in together perfectly so I really have been providing you or at least with my last video with um, energetic updates I just didn't label it as one so maybe you didn't really realize what was going on um, and so <clears throat> I have had so much to talk about and so many ideas that I wanted to do, especially for today. But since we are here in February, I'm going to talk about this and incorporate it with my previous video that was labeled Union of Self. You know, so what does that actually mean? It means to be whole. But today marks the 2222, which is February the 2nd of the 22nd, um, opens the portal known as the Aquarian portal, which continues on through February the 22nd. Um, and many of them, many people are calling this a great manifestation portal. But most importantly, this is a time to set greater intentions. But manifesting can be very tricky and bring what is not really expected or even appreciated. So I want to kind of talk about manifesting right now. You know, the mind can think of all kinds of ideas. And let's just use um, uh, two things right now. Trying to manifest your perfect counterpart and then trying to manifest financial freedom are two things that people are uh, trying to work on when manifesting. Something I've learned is that you can't manifest if you don't believe in that manifestation. You can sit all day long and think up things. You can create this beautiful person who's supposed to be your counterpart, your lifelong partner. You can envision a pile of money and financial freedom. But if you don't believe in it, through every aspect of who you are, you're going to manifest the opposite. True manifestation is that the heart believes it. If there's any type of pain, lacking, and limitation within you, through your chakra system, through your DNA, through your blood, through your entire lineage, through your past lives, because you have not healed yourself of those limitations and pains and etc., um, and learned your life lessons, you will not learn how to properly manifest. Now, this manifestation portal, portal through the Aquarian portal is more than just manifesting a counterpart. It's more than manifesting financial freedom, yet through pro proper manifesting or becoming, you create everything. And that is what wholeness is. That is what the true union of self is. And when you are united and birthed into wholeness, everything that is meant to be yours will arrive. You can't enjoy your counterpart if you still have pain on the inside because you're still going to be projecting pain into that relationship where you're not really going to feel any longer that this person was meant to be with you. You're going to sa self-sabotage everything, even your financial freedom. If you have not learned your lessons and, and understand what the value of money is, or even your value, then you're going to self-sabotage your own financial freedom. Everything will come to you. 
in its timely manner when you have become whole. And uh, so we are within Aquarius season, which is a video I have not um, made, but I hope you guys know that we are in Aquarius season as of now until the 22nd of February or so. Um, and so Aquarius is called the sign of the water barrier, and it's often depicted as a man with a jug of water on his shoulder, um, which is mentioned in the New Testament. This is sometimes shown as um, an angelic figure, supposedly androgynous, either pouring water from an urn or carrying the vessel upon its shoulder. So did you hear that word? Androgynous. And excuse me for stuttering previously. Um, which is not a man, not a woman, but perfectly both as one source. And that's what my previous video of Union of Self and um, my other video that I made about um, the Twin Flame, True Meaning of the Twin Flame, is all about. You know, so our entire ascension cycle here is about us building the new template. We must become the new earth. We must purify ourselves, and we are being assisted by the white lily flame, um, which is truly purifying and also bringing and anchoring in more of the higher self um, or the becoming self. We have to really understand, again, and I know I mentioned this in lots of videos, the heart must know itself. The mind must know itself, the heart must know itself, and then the body will become itself. Three aspects. Three ways that we have to understand. Now, if we are still living within the ego self, the heart has no way of believing in what it truly is all about. You don't really believe that you are um, both male and female because you have not incorporated both male and female, which means that you are probably acting through experiences as either being uh, more masculine or more feminine. And um, it could be overactive or underactive through the chakra system. This is a very timely, a very timely process. And most of you know I have been doing this um, oh, through my awareness now for four years. This summer um, anchors in the full four years. And I use September 14th as my marker. Um, because that is the moment of true recognition that a God source was working through my mind by giving me my mind and my ability to write again. Um, and so I wanted to give you this video today to make you understand what this Aquarian portal is all about. That it's not about us trying to manifest the money. It's not about us trying to manifest our um, significant counterpart, um, our match here on Earth, because it, it's, it's about us becoming whole, manifesting, creating, manifesting our soul's purpose. Not what your idea of it is. It's what it really is meant to be. And when you have really anchored in all of your higher self, uh, through the light of the Ein Sof. Everything that comes to you, your soul's purpose, is more greater than your expectation and gives you more. You have to leave that part open. Every single thing that you think you want, whether it's more money, someone to love you, the family, you know, your soul's purpose, whatever it is, really keep that idea open. It's okay to sit and think um, or kind of envision from time to time, you know, because I used to, and I haven't done this in a long time, envision myself speaking to lots of people. And that's something that God has also shown me through my, my uh, remote viewing um, or, you know, my intuition that I will be a great teacher um, and a speaker. But I've already been doing that for a couple of years here on YouTube, right? So I'm already fulfilling that. It's not quite 
what I had imagined, of course, years ago. Um, and it might not be anything more than this. But it is complete. But it might be even more. I don't sit and think about the more or the future. Because then it doesn't keep me present. Right here in learning and enjoying life. You have to really stay present. And uh, you can't go to the past and, and think up all of the things that you were lacking in. Um, you can't have the anxiety and the fears that the past and the future, um, the lack of knowing what the future is all about, um, and, and enjoy life. So we really have to get clear that we are ready for more, no matter what more is. And whatever the heart really feels is what is going to arrive in the form of experiences, which can be the lessons that you need to learn or the blessings. And all of it is a blessing if you are learning and becoming at the same time. So I hope this video helps and it isn't as lengthy as I wanted it to be and it's not the video that I was talking about in yesterday's video. Um, but I wanted to get this out to you and really make you more aware that we are becoming whole. And I hope to explain more about that in um, hopefully tomorrow's video. Um, but for right now, this is all that I could get out to you today. This is Christy. Much love, health, and healing away. I am bringing purpose to your life. Take care.